NASA's Parker Solar Probe is rewriting the rules of space exploration. Launched in 2018, it's the first spacecraft designed to touch the sun diving to within just 6.4 million kilometers, 4 million miles, of its fiery surface. Built to endure temperatures approaching 1,400 degrees Celsius, the probe is equipped with an ultra-advanced thermal shield and travels at a staggering speed of over 700,000 kilometers per hour, making it the fastest human-made object ever. Its mission? To explore the sun's outer atmosphere the corona and reveal the mysteries of solar winds and magnetic fields. Each close encounter delivers critical data that helps scientists better predict space weather, which can impact satellites, power grids, and communication on Earth. With every orbit, Parker brings us one step closer to unlocking the secrets of our star. In the 1960s, engineer Robert Truax envisioned a rocket so massive it could reshape humanity's path to space. Called the Sea Dragon, this 150-meter giant was designed to launch straight from the ocean, using built-in ballast tanks to stay upright before takeoff. Its sheer scale was staggering, it was intended to carry up to 550 tons into low Earth orbit, making it more powerful than even modern rockets like SpaceX's Starship. The Sea Dragon followed a big dumb booster philosophy, use simple materials, keep costs low, and focus on brute strength. It was a bold attempt to make space travel affordable and routine. Though the project never left the drawing board, its daring concept of ocean-based, ultra-heavy launches still sparks interest among today's space visionaries. Blue Ring Pathfinder by Blue Origin is set to redefine space operations with its innovative orbital platform. Designed to launch on the debut flight of the new Glenn rocket, this compact, ring-shaped system attaches around the rocket's second stage. Rather than separating immediately, it remains integrated for six hours, showcasing its ability to operate in space while still connected to the launch vehicle. Equipped with advanced telemetry, edge computing, and communication tech, Blue Ring is built to support critical tasks like satellite refueling, orbital positioning, and space-based data services. This mission marks a bold step toward developing a multi-use in-orbit logistics hub laying the groundwork for more autonomous and efficient missions in low Earth orbit and beyond. NASA's Orion spacecraft has reached a major breakthrough, successfully proving its ability to dock autonomously in space. As part of the Artemis program, this capability is critical for future deep space missions, especially those involving complex rendezvous operations near the Moon. Orion's cutting-edge docking system has undergone extensive testing in simulated environments and performed flawlessly in space, showing it can connect safely and accurately with other spacecraft. This milestone paves the way for missions like Artemis 3, where Orion will link up with SpaceX's Starship Lunar Lander in orbit around the Moon. The precision and reliability of Orion's docking system are essential for safely transferring astronauts for their descent to the lunar surface. With this success, NASA is now even closer to returning humans to the moon and preparing for future journeys to Mars. Dassault Aviation's Vortex is Europe's bold leap into reusable spaceflight, a sleek orbital spaceplane poised to transform how we access and operate in space. Revealed at the Paris Air Show, Vortex short for Vehicle Orbital de Transport ET de Exploration is engineered to launch atop a conventional rocket, maneuver in low Earth orbit, and return by landing like an aircraft. With backing from the French Armed Forces and the European Space Agency, it's a symbol of Europe's push for independent, sustainable space capability. Vortex is designed for a range of missions, satellite servicing, station resupply, orbital cargo delivery, and even cleaning up space debris. Development is moving forward in phases starting with scaled demonstrators and building up to a fully crewed version targeted for the 2040s. Supported through France's Ministry of Defense and ESA's Explore 2040 program, Vortex isn't just a spacecraft it's Europe's next-gen, cost-efficient bridge to orbit. Honda has officially entered the new space era, pulling off a historic achievement with the successful launch and vertical landing of its own reusable rocket. 
In a quiet but game-changing test on June 17, 2025, the 6.3-meter prototype reached nearly 900 feet before descending with pinpoint accuracy touching down just 37 centimeters from its target. The rocket relied on precision-engineered retractable landing legs and a fully autonomous control system to stick the landing. Blending decades of expertise in robotics and automotive innovation, Honda is now the first private Japanese company to master reusable rocketry joining an elite global circle outside of the US and China. With its eyes set on suborbital missions by 2029, Honda is gearing up to challenge the status quo in satellite deployment and low-cost access to space. VAST is setting the stage for a bold new era in orbital living with its mission to launch the first commercial space stations. Leading the charge is Haven-1, a compact outpost set to launch aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 by 2026. Designed to support four astronauts on 30-day missions, Haven-1 will include Starlink-powered laser internet, a panoramic Earth-viewing dome, and dedicated lab space for in-orbit research. But this is only the beginning. By 2028, VAST aims to expand with Haven 2, a larger, modular station featuring docking ports, robotic arms, and early artificial gravity experiments. With strong backing and collaborations with NASA and SpaceX, VAST is paving the way for private space habitats, offering a viable future for human presence in low Earth orbit beyond the ISS. Pulsar Fusion Sunbird is redefining deep space propulsion with its advanced nuclear fusion rocket, engineered for high-speed missions to Mars, Titan, and beyond. Using a direct fusion drive, Sunbird is designed to hit staggering speeds of up to 500,000 miles per hour cutting interplanetary travel times dramatically. At 30 meters long, this reusable spacecraft operates as an orbital space tug, delivering both clean thrust and long-term sustainability. What sets Sunbird apart isn't just its speed, but its ability to generate 2 megawatts of onboard power, enough to support vital systems like life support, communications, and scientific instruments in remote space environments. With test launches slated for 2025 and a full in-orbit demonstration planned by 2027, Sunbird marks a major leap toward practical, fusion-powered space travel. Cosmos 482, a relic of the Soviet Union's Venera program, was launched on March 31, 1972, with the goal of reaching and landing on Venus. However, a launch malfunction prevented it from breaking free of Earth's gravity, trapping the spacecraft in orbit for more than five decades. On May 10, 2025, after 53 years circling the planet, Cosmos 482 made its dramatic return, re-entering Earth's atmosphere and plunging into the Indian Ocean just west of Jakarta at 6.24 a.m. GMT. The descent module built to endure Venus's harsh environment and weighing nearly 500 kilograms may have survived the fiery descent intact. This remarkable event is a vivid reminder of space exploration's early ambitions and the long-term impact of orbital debris. Rocket Lab is redefining deep space missions with its bold plan to tackle one of space exploration's biggest challenges, returning samples from Mars. While NASA and ESA are developing a large-scale, multi-spacecraft effort to retrieve Martian soil, Rocket Lab is charting a different course leaner, faster, and far more cost-effective. Using its proven electron rocket and photon spacecraft, the company aims to carry out an entire sample return mission in one streamlined operation. The plan involves landing a small probe on the Martian surface, collecting soil and rock samples, and bringing them back to Earth all with minimal hardware and expense. If successful, Rocket Lab would make history as the first private company to return material from another planet. More importantly, it would signal a shift in planetary exploration, showing that commercial players can now lead groundbreaking missions once reserved for major space agencies. Super Nexus is an ambitious vision for the future of space travel, built around the immense potential of nuclear thermal propulsion. Unlike conventional rockets, this concept uses a nuclear reactor to superheat liquid hydrogen,
creating thrust that's both powerful and highly efficient. The result? Dramatically reduced travel times potentially cutting a journey to Mars in half and the ability to carry far heavier payloads over greater distances. Engineered to be a workhorse for the next era of space exploration, Super Nexus could play a vital role in supporting permanent lunar outposts, Mars colonization efforts, and even ventures into the outer solar system. With its combination of advanced propulsion and massive cargo capability, it stands to revolutionize interplanetary logistics and make deep space missions more practical than ever before. If realized, Super Nexus would mark a transformative leap in how humanity reaches and operates in space. Artemis II is set to mark a major milestone in NASA's mission to take humans back to the moon. Slated for launch in April 2026, this 10-day mission will send four astronauts including the first woman and the first Canadian to orbit the moon aboard the Orion spacecraft. Launched atop the powerful Space Launch System SLS, rocket, the mission will rigorously test life support systems, navigation, and communication technologies critical for future lunar exploration. As the first crewed flight of NASA's deep space exploration system since the Apollo era, Artemis II follows the uncrewed Artemis I mission and builds on its findings, especially improvements made to the spacecraft's heat shield. This mission isn't just a lunar flyby, it's a crucial step in preparing for sustained human presence on the moon and a launch pad for future missions to Mars and beyond.